So the next expansion is coming out for a while, right? And I don't have as much time as I used to have to play World of Warcraft. And that's why I'm going to try out this WoW expansion on my Lenovo Legion Go. And I'm not going to be connecting a mouse and keyboard to it. I'm going to try and find a way to play it strictly in handheld mode. So where do we start? You think you just load up Windows, go and download Battle.net, and install World of Warcraft. But it's not quite that easy. This Lenovo Legion Go isn't running Windows. It's running a distro of Linux called Chimera OS. The project was originally called Gamer OS, and the main goal was to provide a seamless gaming experience on Linux, much like a console. The team that developed it chose Arch Linux as the base for its simplicity and customization. Chimera OS evolved from the need to have a user-friendly, high-performing gaming platform that could rival consoles. It integrates Steam's big picture mode for a console-like interface and supports a wide range of games using tools like Letris and Proton. It's an open source community-driven project that works well on handhelds as well as desktops. If you want to know more about how I got Chimera OS running on this bad boy, I'll link a video in the description. So the first app that we install in our software stack is called Lutris. Developed by Matthew Commandon and a community of contributors, Lutris aims to provide a unified interface for all your games regardless of source or platform. It supports a wide range of games, from native Linux titles to Windows games via Wine, and even emulators for retro games. Steam can do a lot, but Lutris fills in a lot of those gaps. I'm starting to use Lutris more for standalone Windows games like Pokemon TCG Online. And after we install Lutris, we just do a quick search for World of Warcraft and we can download the Battle.net installer. In a really simplified explanation, Lutris is going to take whatever you need from Windows and just install those components so that World of Warcraft will run properly. It's not going to install a complete Windows VM to run that specific game, like World of Warcraft in this instance. It's going to have a C drive, it's going to have a programs folder, it's going to be laid out exactly like a Windows install, but you'll be able to get to it from within Linux. I'll go into a little bit more detail in a minute. Now, after we get World of Warcraft installed and running, we're pretty much there. We can connect the keyboard and mouse and play World of Warcraft just like we would on our desktop PC. But that's not exactly what I want, I want to play it in handheld mode. So we gotta take it a little bit further, and it's not just mapping some buttons to the keyboard binds in World of Warcraft. We have to install some add-ons. For add-ons, you can install them manually or use an add-on manager just like you would on Windows, they make them for Linux as well. I'll link a few in the description. The two quality of life add-ons are called Immersion and Dynamic Cam. Immersion just simplifies the quest dialogues, making it easier to read and interact on a smaller screen. Dynamic Cam gives the WoW camera a more action game feel by auto-zooming in and out without the need to use a mouse wheel or keyboard shortcut. And then the final add-on that brings everything together is called Console Port. Console Port does exactly what it sounds like. It makes WoW playable on a controller, and in this case, exactly what we need. Let me show you how it all works together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the desktop mode. Okay, so here's desktop mode, it's just the Linux desktop. So what we want to get to, let's see, we have Lutris here. WowUp.io, this is the add-on manager that I use. We've got Lutris and I've got a shortcut for WoW. I'll see if I can show you the files here. So this is the file structure of Lutris. So if you can see, Let's back out. So we have our game installed. So this is this is Lutris creating this directory called World of Warcraft. And then we have everything in here. We have our C drive, just like we would on Windows. So we go into our C drive and look at that. It looks just like a Windows directory. We have our program files, our program files 86. It, it's, it's got an Internet Explorer folder. It's got everything you need. So, um, Let's hit play. So the nice thing about the touchpad on the Legion Go is I can use my mouse and kind of click on and off. So this is just a really nice convenience factor. But these are all the add-ons that I mentioned earlier. So console port, which is giving me all those controller abilities and this UI down here. And then we have weak auras, which isn't super relevant here. That's more for, uh, for gameplay help. But um, immersion, Dynamic Cam and Console Port were the three add-ons I mentioned earlier. So let's see them all in action here. So we've got our movement here. You can see we have our crosshair in the middle. Dynamic Cam just kind of keeps the camera, you know, focused on me, locked in. So let me see if there's a quest that I can accept around here. Okay, this is the other add-on that makes the quest look a lot better. So you can kind of talk to him, accept the quest, or browse his goods, kind of separates it. 
and this kind of lets you scroll around. I still would probably just use the mouse for this kind of stuff. It just seems more intuitive to me. But I'm sure there's other add-ons that'll probably make that a little bit more convenient also. Like I said, this is just kind of getting it running. I haven't really played with it that much. This is more just kind of a um, proof of concept. But the fact that it's working and I haven't done anything special, like I haven't tweaked anything or edited anything, I just loaded up the add-ons, pulled up the game, and I mean, I cannot complain. This is exactly what I wanted with very minimal effort, and I've got pretty much a handheld WoW experience. So let me do a little bit more tweaking, and then I'll show you kind of the finished product. All right, so let's take it out for a test drive with some PvP. I'm gonna queue up for a random battleground. So you can see here, I made a wheel that has all my mounts on it so I can just pick which mount I want. And if you look at the bottom, you can see all the spells changing every once in a while. So I hold down on the left trigger, it gives me a new set of spells. I hold down on the right trigger, it gives me a new set of spells. I hold on both triggers, it gives me another new set of spells. So I can pretty much have almost infinite sets of spells based on, you know, keybinds. Just like you would on a keyboard by clicking shift and control to, you know, have the different keybinds do different things. But I gotta say the default targeting and kind of how everything works is very intuitive. Like it's not clunky at all. It really feels like it was built for a handheld. It's weird, like when the controls started to click, it felt like I wasn't playing an MMO. It felt like I was playing some sort of like action PVP arena game. And as far as performance goes, you can kind of see for yourself, like it's pretty smooth. Like I didn't have really any hiccups or anything. It ran perfectly smooth. You wouldn't know this was running on Linux or a different operating system at all. It runs just like it did on Windows. And I did look kind of awkward at times, like you would see my character kind of stop every once in a while. But other than that, I don't think you could really tell that I was playing on a controller. I mean, I kind of moved around exactly how I did with a mouse and keyboard. But when I did have to take my thumb off the left joystick, things kind of got a little clunky. So that's why I kind of bound specific spells to those over on the left hand side on the D-pad and then kept, you know, most of the commonly used actions on the right hand side on the actual buttons. But overall, this was a fun project. I had a problem to solve and I solved it. I can play WoW on a handheld now. But if you've got any questions about the build, just leave them in the comments. But before you head out, this is a video I made about installing Chimera OS on the Lenovo Legion Go. Peace.